Hey guys, so really quick, I just wanted to show you how I stay organized with people that I'm talking to, new potentials, um, anything like that. I just want you to know um, how I stay organized, especially coming into this new year. So I've tried a bunch of different stuff and I don't know. I think this is gonna. This is the one thing that's gonna work for me. So of course I have my power hour checklist that I work from every day. So these are the things that I have to get done every single day. Um, and then I went and bought a five, like subject notebook. So my first subject on here is potential coaches. So, and I separated it into like a hot list, a warm list, and a seed planted list. So. These are um, the different categories that I have of people and where they're at, like in my conversation for potential coaches. Um, and really my Facebook messenger is where I can go back and look at the message and see kind of where we're at. And there's also a way that you can archive your messages. I'll, I'll do a screen share in just a minute and show you um, how to do that. Um, the next one that I have is potential customers so these are people that are potentials with um, challenge packs and then I kind of highlighted up here um, the orange was sold and then the green was sent links so these are people that I kind of sent links to that haven't actually purchased yet but then these are the people that have sold at the bottom so what I'll do is next month February I'll transfer this over and I'll still you know use the people that this is a follow-up list and then start a new list. Um, the next one is uh, free groups, which I have not run in a long time. Um, I encourage you guys to run free groups. We have five day free clean eating groups. We have crock pot groups. We have anything that you think that your niche market could use. You could run a free group. Um, I did a five day skincare group and it kind of flopped because the last day um, I spilt Shakeology on my computer and I didn't have the last video made. But I was just, I, I thought outside my box, you know? And so um, five day clean eating groups. Anybody that you have talked about your clean eating group, um, I would suggest doing at least one a month, you know, right before our challenge group starts. Um, and then the next one I have is uh, coaches, potential rank advancements. Um, any new coach that I sign up, did I send them a welcome letter? Did I do a follow-up? Um, any trainings that I have going on, people that are in trainings. Um, I'm really working better at um, keeping track of who's working towards what rank advancement and being able to really work with everybody closely that, that you know, need that extra help and planning and um, guiding to um, their rank advancements. Um, and then the last one is Success Club qualifiers. So these are people that um, have hit Success Club, that are close to Success Club. I can keep track of who, and this is needs to be way more for our team. These are my personally sponsored coaches, but um, this is January, you guys, and this page should be filled with people's lives that we're changing, okay? But, um, and then I have like success starters and um, just the ladder um, rung, who's progressing in the ladder rung, um, success starters, team builders, team leaders. Um, we're going to start doing a lot more recognition because those benchmarks in the ladder rung um, really show that you're actually doing the daily things to get you to rank advance. Okay, so rank advancement is great. Like we all want it. But we really have to focus on the daily actions that are going to get us there. The heart intent, the, the, our mission statement, um, our, our why, you know, that's going to get us up and get us compelled and get us motivated to do the daily actions, the small daily actions that compound over time, that increase your, your business, increase your growth, increase your income. So that is how I kind of stay focused and organized with my business on paper. Um, so I also wanted to show you how I stay organized on my phone. So I'm going to do a screen share.
All right. So if I have um, anybody, I create a um, note, okay, for my challenge group. So I have a note. And I label each group what I have going on for the month. So a New Year's, New Year's group. And if I go in there, all these people at the top are people that are in my challenge group that I need to stay on top of, that I need to tag every day. And then these people at the bottom were people that I was kind of sort of talking to, but maybe didn't sign up. So like I said, I just started this notebook thing, but this is so in the morning if I, you know, am out or in bed or whatever, I can just go in here. I can highlight all these I go into my group. And then I can just go to the daily assignment and I can tag everybody. So I haven't tagged everybody yet, so I'll do it now. And when you do this, you have to tag and you paste it. And then you have to put your little cursor right by the name and backspace and then spell out their name and it'll, it'll be highlighted for you. Okay. I know there's a lot in this group, but... The more organized you are, I'm telling you, the easier this is. So find something that works for you and then, you know, implement it. So that's how I keep my groups um, or my people organized in groups of who I'm tagging every day and things like that. So the way that you can keep your groups, see how they're all grouped here on the side from my phone? Um, if you go into a group, when you first go into a group and you click the join, you can, it'll say add to favorites, but because it's already in my favorites, then it's not saying that, but it, it, it would say add to favorites. So what that means is, is now all the groups that you're in that you need to stay focused on, you want to add to your favorites bar because from your phone, it's going to appear under your favorites. See this right here under your favorites. So these are all the groups that I need to be in that I need to see what's going on. Okay. Um, and then when you're done with that group, just remove it from your favorites. Now, if you're in a group and you want to remove the notifications, because sometimes you're just overwhelmed with all the notifications from your phone, you're going to go into the info and then you're going to go into notification settings and then you can turn them off. Okay because some of you might be a little bit overwhelmed with all the notifications. Just make sure if you turn the notifications off that you get into the group and you pay attention to your people, you see what's going on, you're active in there, um, you just don't have the notifications coming on. So um, I hope that helps with organization. Um, of course I have documents in Google Drive and documents in Dropbox that I have um, on my phone at all times. So I can cut and copy everything, links to everything. Um, it really helps to make things easy because you don't wanna be wasting time trying to find links um, when you can have them all in a centrally located place. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, need some more organization tips, just let me know and I'll help you out. Thanks, guys.